parts to why I'm still vegan is because animals produce so much waste any year. The animals in America, 20% of the world population, produce more than 140 times more waste than the entire hominid population, your species. If you want to know why I call your species hominids, check out my video about humans and hominids, by the way. A typical pig factory produces as much waste as a city of 50,000 people. There are something like 500 nitrate field hypoxic dead zones in the ocean. Now, ancient field of public dead zones are existing because of the tons of manure how our energy produced by the animal agriculture. Also, sometimes other things like other kinds of pollution. But if we re if we understand that in America, even with and now we calculate also that America eats something like. Uh, 20% of the world's animals and if you also calculate that some 84% of all the animals raised for food come from third nation countries it is easily to see which is the most biggest pollution of our rivers animal waste total manure produced by animals in the United States is around something like 3 475 trillion pounds of manure, LBA of manure in a year. It is easy to see where it comes from because the phytoplankton gets too overproduced of manure, then they just die uh, quicker and then they produce that uh, blue green algae blooms where then the fish die and the water become toxic and uh, this tried entire habitats because of one totally disharmony in the ecosystem and over fertilization of crops also creates agalized salmonella infections in the crops because we all know agalized salmonella is one shit bacteria anybody who don't know where agalized salmonella comes from Maybe you have to open one book and read about it. It only can come from shit. You, a species of uh, hominid shit or animal shit. Spanish does it shit. Lettuce does it shit. That's a problem with the meat eating society. Because they produce so much animals, these animals produce so much shit, they, they get um, over fertilization of the crops that, that shit comes in water and creates ocean dead zones. Niger field ocean dead zones where we have on this moment 500 from around the world and most of them are from coming from rivers the manure where it come out of it where around the rivers are animal farms fish farms or land animal farms. You don't have to be Einstein to figure out this conclusion. You only have to be not an addict of animal body parts and secretions to figure out this obvious fact. I'm still vegan because animal agriculture is the biggest cost of Amazon rainforest destruction with exactly 81% uh, of all the rainforest destruction is directly caused by animal agriculture. Year, which uh, is actually 70 to 75 percent of um, cattle ranching and 60 to 21 percent of uh, the food that we raised to feed those animals. You don't have to be Einstein to figure out the conclusion. The majority of the soy, the majority of the, uh, the corn and the grains are feed to livestock. As I have said in my first video about this topic, you don't can be claiming you are an environmentalist and not are vegan. You don't can claim that you care about people who are dying from starvation. As I have explained in part one, 80 
that 4% of all the animals which are being eaten by you, people, come from, come from third country nations where the foods of these people are fit to livestock to be fed into the West. So stop playing lip service to all the problems of the world and go vegan. What's the excuse for causing the least amount of harm possible? Always being vegan. I'm still vegan because I don't want to live in a world where people have extremely high levels of douchebaggery. This world does not belong only to us. This world belongs to all animals, from the elephants to the rhinos, to all mammals, to crustaceans, to cetaceans, to the insects, spiders, pollinators, and cleaners of this world. This is a world of great diversity in life. It is not one planet or one species as many of us so delusional believe. This world has three basic laws, and any species who chooses to violate them will destroy his own environment, which is, if you ask me, far from sapient, which means wise and Latin. The first law is that there is a limited amount of grow possible in the ecosystem. The second one is that all species are interconnected with each other. The last one is there's unlimited finite resources. That means a limited amount in grow. That means a limited amount of members of a certain species who is overpopulating on this planet. In 19th century there were just 1 billion people on the planet. Today, 7.8. 7.8. Don't tell me that people on the are not overpopulating. Check out my video on how which people should have children. And check out my environmental videos. And my philosophy videos. I see you next time.